Hi guys, welcome back to the channel on a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. This video is a very special video. It's an interview with a high rated player, someone that's at 600k, has been in all of the top alliances and also has a lot of kind of things to talk about when it comes to the Grandmaster Crystal which is going to be introduced into the game shortly as well as six stars. The video talks about, in this podcast, we talk about the devaluation in the game, the ideas that Kabam have for the future and kind of the feelings from the people that invest money into the game because that's another aspect that we talk about investing money because people will feel they're investing into five stars in order to kind of further the progression in the game it doesn't matter at what level you are if you're just joining the game then it's kind of cool to understand well what what's the experience being like for those who played for well over two years and also are pushing themselves towards end game content and maybe the money side of things and how much people are putting in so hopefully you enjoy it so, Cruz is a high-rated player currently playing in the Core Alliance. He's been playing MCC uh, Marvel Contest of Champions for two years and five months. Loyal to most of all the new content Kaban put out in the game. Identifies himself as a playing player, as well as, well, a few other people doing the, the community, as well as uh, myself. And obviously, from the gathered support, it was like, where's Waldo? He's not Omar, <laughs> he is Cruz and uh, managed to track him down and obviously here he is now he's uh, to uh, to the side of me there um thanks thanks for joining us screws absolutely thanks for having me rich you tracked me down <laughs> and it was you quite found me it was quite funny because you, you we just said uh, prior to recording that your uh, leader was like uh, hey you know uh, rich the man uh, mcc youtube was looking for you it's like yeah what the hell is that about i thought he was maybe gonna i thought rich was gonna shake me down for a second <laughs> maybe i had said something wrong maybe <laughs> So yeah, this was this was fun. This was great to find out from my leader that somebody was looking for me <laughs> to do a YouTube video. <laughs> but obviously, the reason, guys, that we've we've brought Cruz on is because he put a post out, which I'm putting information now in the center um, about uh, like a really hot topic that goes into great detail and what we've we've decided to do is like talk about a lot of these things. And it was a bit disappointing that Kabam decided to shut down his post because it was a really different take on on the game from uh, a player that's been devoted for a long time to the game, uh, as, as well as myself. But one that has identified with a lot of end game stuff, has done a lot of work like with improving his roster and also, you know, investing. Because that's another thing that people don't really kind of see within the game. And it's about investing in your characters and your champions and especially the five stars going into six stars being put into the game. Absolutely. So the post talks about, um, you know, devaluation. Uh, we talk about uh, the Grandmaster Crystal, which is the, the kind of the main topic, but the general devaluation um, from the money that uh, yourself and, and myself as well have, and other players have put into the game. So obviously, yeah. um, I, I'd like to obviously thank you for, for joining me in, in talking about these things because it's, it's pretty cool. Rich, thanks for having me. This, I've never I've never done an official <laughs> YouTube video with anybody. I have never talked to MCOC with a live person, like in real time. So this is, yeah, this has been really fun. We've had some great conversation leading up to the video that people will never know about. Ab unless, you, <laughs> unless you share, which is fine. Well, some of the stuff that we, <laughs> no, not obviously, you know, uh, we the uh, keep, uh, keep uh, like hush hush and some stuff because, you know, people don't <laughs> yeah. need to know about these things. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but um, the, a lot of the stuff has actually kind of uh, formed some other stuff we're going to talk about um, in yeah. particular. Um, uh, you know the uh, the ideas of like how they could develop the game further, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll kind of cover that um, on on the future vision section. Now, the first yeah. thing I want to talk about is uh, value of five stars. We all know in light of recent announcements in the game uh, of six stars, and obviously uh, based on the forum uh, post that you did, uh, it seems like a good idea. But uh, there's a, there's other side for it. There's you know obviously the financial prospect, uh, the money mm -hmm. that we've invested, um, five stars has been mm -hmm. devalued. So. Uh, Cruz, what were your thoughts first as a player and then as a as a paying player that's uh, invested money regarding uh, this announcement of the six stars and the Grandmaster Crystal? Well, this is a funny story. Core, uh, uh, many of our members have followed the MCOC Twitter, and we did that during the Spidey Start quest so we could know when to log in and, and complete the quest. So mm -hmm. a lot of us get those notifications on our phones that you know, MCOC has posted something from the official Twitter. So yeah. we all got that announcement from the the official Twitter that six star champions are on the way. Mm -hmm. 
and we thought it was April Fools in <laughs> July. And we, I mean, we couldn't believe it. we were dumbfounded. I mean, our you should have seen our little core chat. We were like, "This is that. That's Caban. That's funny. That's a. There is no <laughs> way that this is. Either did they get hacked? Is this, there's no way this is real. We were mm -hmm. dumbfounded. So we. Um, I don't think anyone really wanted to react too quickly mm -hmm. because. It was just such a, it seemed like such a crazy out of left field announcement. And I think a mm. lot of people can sympathize with that. Yeah. It seems so bizarre. Absolutely. Obviously, the, the, the money side of things, like, uh, and we, we'll, we'll kind of go on further with regards to, uh, like, financial kind of, like, aspects. But, you know, we were, we were talking as well about the, the this this is the next step isn't it the devaluation side of things like the yeah. introducing a new starring system similar when we were at four stars and we we're going hey this is a pretty kind of like uh okay place to be in um oh five stars yeah 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 i and i was not a big advocate of five stars so imagine mm -hmm. once this news really broke and it became official and we got the post and all the information i mean just to think about the five stars that, and you can use the word invested. I know some people don't like to use that word because it makes it makes people think, well, why would you spend real money in a game like this? Well, we all enjoy Marvel characters, and some of us enjoy them, um, yeah. and we'll we'll spend money to promote those products and mm -hmm. in game things. So th there are a lot of members who have invested in this game. So to see this new announcement on six stars, and then to have it confirmed. It was it was just like bewildering like what and we've all got mm. lives outside of the game we all you know have other things going on but this yeah. is you know we, we enjoy logging in and playing and 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 building something and the six star announcement really just seemed like it was undermining all of that it mm. was it was like beginning uh, a new phase in MCOC and on a new like rat wheel with a new rat race yeah. so the more we got to talk about it and the more that we realized that this is this is real a lot a, a lot of players were very upset and i don't yeah. speak for everybody in core i've got to say that right now i don't speak for mmx or iso 8a or mm -hmm. you know iso 8f whatever they're i don't know all the isos <laughs> i just this is i think this is a general sentiment that a lot of players who have built rosters over the past two years will mm -hmm. echo yeah so um, if you go back, uh, if we both uh, go back, I mean, I haven't completed it, but if um, uh, I'm assuming, you, have you completed Labyrinth of Legends? I have. If yes. we if we go back in time to the point, it's of expensive when, back when I did it. <laughs> uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And if yeah. Uh, as you kind of uh, look look at that, and we kind of look at it as a as a kind of a, a paying aspect. Mm -hmm. If you imagine the amount of uh, Odin vaults bought for it, if we imagine the fact that then by the introducing uh, our introduce introducing five stars and we look yeah. at obviously people going all right you need a if you really don't want to spend that money much money then uh you need a five star star lot or you'll need yeah. to do an a mass uh, you know obviously compare it to uh brian grant a, a contest champion he is a free-to-play player so the extensive amount of grind of units when you wow. look at it obviously you with with him it's a different story because his time is a different thing so instead of us mm -hmm. going okay well um do i value my time over grinding out extensively in exactly. arena to get units then you kind of go right well i'd rather i don't know uh tidy out the garage or i would exactly. rather do the yeah. garden then you then you kind of go do you know what I, i'm i'm all right for money i'll s decide to spend the money and then you're buying the odins and then you're doing it yeah. Now, if you're do at the time, did you do them with four stars? Do you elaborate with four stars? I think I did my first run with a four star SL, and after that first run, I had well, be I had a dupe five star Star Lord, but he was R three, I think. Mm. It was something like that, and then I'd R four him after I got all the materials necessary mm. after that first run, and then I went and did the grind. Uh, yeah. And it, man, I'm telling you what, it was a grind. I mean, I think I yeah. finished. I was. And this isn't bragging, this isn't anything, but I'm, if I recall, I think I was the 23rd or 24th person. I was just outside of that top 20. Hmm. So I didn't get my, I didn't get my, my Thanos. Wow. I mean, that's... It was expensive back then. And it, was, yeah. and it was a nightmare. Yikes. And obviously a lot of things have changed now. And it's like, do you, with content changes and six stars being introduced, and obviously that will then yeah. make things like Labyrinth for Legends a lot more easier. Because if we're considering this kind of uh, micro regen 
thing that's yeah. going on with six stars um, yeah it does it is a little bit of a, a, a and obviously for, for gentlemen it's a kick in the balls for ladies it's a I don't know, kicking, kicking, <laughs> kicking a foof, what, kick, kicking the lady parts. Um, obviously, we're not, we're not kind of like, you know, separating out the genders because females do play the uh, the game. But it's like, it's a. Let kick. me say something, Rich, because you're hitting on something right now. I just want to say it real quickly, mm. if it's okay yeah, by it's you, because I think a, a lot of newer players are looking at this six star edition and they're thinking, great, it's easier to get four and five star champions. Mm. But maybe they're not seeing that these four and five star champions are now dropping down in value. So your mm. fours are becoming threes, your fives are becoming fours, and you'll still be outclassed in the future, in the very near future, by six star champions and, and relevant content to those champions. Absolutely. So the new, new players or newer players with maybe smaller rosters, and I'm in no way saying that my opinion mm -hmm. as a core member or paying players in any way like more enlightened or more valuable, but I'm, I'm saying... I can kind of see the end game progression a little bit hmm. more effectively than other players because a lot of these spending players, we're there, we're seeing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, new guys so excited about increases in five star shards, those are basically four star shards now. Hmm. You're equating the same value to something that it had before this announcement. And this announcement, I mean, you just saw that recent offer yeah. where you. 10k five star shards and half of a t2a for 80 90 bucks mm. i mean a month or two ago that would have run that would have run you 300 to 500 bucks who knows half of a t2a they'd never done that before yeah it it was the value has just shifted totally i mean in a dramatic way that is gonna uh, really ups i'm talking like i'm an economist here mm. like, hey it's the economy <laughs> but but this is it's just so bizarre instead of adding new mechanics and we'll get into that so but that's what i wanted to say these new players there is there there is not a silver lining in this that you that you're really considering i mean it's not it's not a good mm. move well and that brings us on to my second point and uh, to those players they may feel that the silver lining is with the grandmaster crystal if you're not familiar with the grandmaster crystal it's a new yeah. crystal they're going to introduce into the game which uh it's 200 units in price and uh and obviously can be yeah <laughs> I, can see, I, can, I can see cruz doing that um it, it's basically meaning that it's gonna in kabam's eyes and obviously in, this is in kabam's eyes make that jump for players so they are able to spend 200 units and potentially get uh is it guaranteed three star and then chance of a four star or rare chance of a five star it really shouldn't it, it should mirror the current phc's drop rates for three and four star champions except for four and five stars so there, there will be no two stars you're yeah. going to open up crystals that literally have at least a three or better for 200 units yeah and this is kind of like uh, from uh i mean for cabana's perspective they're going like hey people are going to really resonate with this especially uh, uh, at lower levels it's going to increase the chances yeah. of getting um getting five stars but um you know it does put us into a very uh, difficult area for the players that are at their end game point um like, like yourself and and obviously what we obviously this was the big kind of thing about your your post and how the grandmaster crystal devalues that could you ex explain to, uh, to everybody yeah that that yeah. opinion by yourself and I need to make it clear, once again, I'm in no way speaking for the entirety of CORE mm. or MMX or ISO 8, although I will say this, when when the news broke and it became really official and it was confirmed and we had all the posts on the official forums, I started a group chat with uh, the Big B, some ISO 8 guys, and of course CORE, and we just kind of piled in on our thoughts and we had this group chat going. And it kind of died off, but the Big B did make uh, an official post on the forums, and it was in like direct response to this the six star announcement, and it mm -hmm. quickly got shut down because Kabam said, "Look, we've got an official thread for this. We don't need any more posts. If you've got feedback, we're just going to direct you over there." So I thought, okay, maybe we can get some power players together, and we'll do a post on this Grandmaster Crystal, and that yeah. way, that way, it, it's not going to be seen as six star feedback will mm -hmm. be kind of clever and we'll just kind of address really what's going on with the economy of the game but things kind of fell apart and that's another kind of interesting thing some 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 paying players are really looking forward to the opportunity to, to spend 200 dollars crystals or excuse me 200 unit crystals mm -hmm. to pick up uh rare champs but so i so i created this post on the grandmaster crystal because 
it, I, I really thought people needed to focus on instead of this six star edition. What's happening to the champs that we current have currently have? Mm -hmm. They're all drop. They're all just totally dropping in value. I mean, especially with that shard deal that you just saw. Yeah, that's one. That's one third the value of what it would have been a month ago, and and it's also that we can kind of restart this race to acquire like a new tier of champions. Mm. And now and now you've got a crystal. And I and I thought I distinctly remember that Kabam had said we're never going to just sell five star champs outright like in a crystal. Yeah. Well, that's totally wrong now because this Grandmaster crystal is coming in. I mean, it's it's two hundred units. You spin, you get the same drop rates for four and five star champions as PHCs have for three and fours, and it's encouraging all types of players to invest again. Mm -hmm. But then down the road, what are you going to see? Do we see seven star champions where now you've got another crystal that you can spend for, you know, four hundred units and you get you yeah. get five and six star champions? And I know I'm talking a lot, Rich, but that <laughs> yeah, that Grandmaster Crystal had me thinking a lot about what's what's the value of anything? Why would you spend money in a game where the value gets manipulated so easily? Mm -hmm. And you, you you can't play the game when the the rules are constantly being manipulated and yeah. nothing really holds its value. Mm -hmm. It's it's not any fun. You can't you can't have any sense of like accomplishment in a game like that. No, and it it does put it into a very gray area of the game. And I have talked about this uh, in previous videos where we we talk about the idea of uh, of kind of like the the earning. Like I mean, you, you guys and, you, and your your alliance, uh, you've earned where you have through through different means hard grind and obviously um yeah. let's, let's not take the money side of things it but it is you know it's hard effort but at the same time there is the the money side of things but if you look at the arenas and how they've kind of adapted people are forced into arenas and adding that extra arena in was in order to kind of reduce down um you know those those scores that we were seeing it was ridiculous mm -hmm. scores in alliances mm -hmm. uh, sorry in um in arenas and the extent of people's daily grind is it's not about oh yes today i need to do this quest because this quest will gift me this it's mm -hmm. i need to do arena in order to get said champions that are going to either improve my roster or do this and mm -hmm. do they then um, you know, would it have been better for Kabam to do something with arenas in order to reduce down scores so people were kind of having a hard grind in arena, but there was more arenas to go into um, mm. rather than going down the route of putting five stars into into crystals and doing the Grand Master Crystal? Would it have been better for people to do hard work and effort to, to get those? And obviously, you would have more of a, an extensive five-star roster, so therefore would it be more better for you to do it or, mm -hmm. and, and more you know you'd see higher rated players do it and then you kind of mm -hmm. go okay as a person mm -hmm. like myself i could only do an extensive amount on a four star ross uh, a four star mm -hmm. arena mm -hmm. so would that have been a better way for them to to go possibly i'm i'm not a fan of arena at all is that a surprise i don't, I don't know if anybody is it seems like it's just mind numbing and we've done that for two and a half years. Yeah. Is there nothing new on the horizon to earn a new champ? I mean, other than just dedicating three days of your life with seven plus hours of gameplay a day and recharge. There's got and and that that really is at the heart of this six star announcement of mm. all the other. And we're going to get into that, I know. But yeah. of all the other innovating um, possibility or just possibilities to innovate, mm -hmm. Kabam decides that it's it's best to slap another star on existing champions yeah and begin a new rat race i mean we we could have new masteries mm -hmm. bases we could have gear we can have a new gameplay mechanic like within the fighting there are so many cool things they can do mm. absolutely so I, the arena thing rich i i am so sick and tired of the arena thing <laughs> I, and i and i i am gonna rue the day that they open the five star arena because you know mm. that's coming where you're grinding for a for a five star champ because it's coming yeah i it's just coming. i just hope that we by doing that it may then uh, it may allow some kind of reduced scores in certain areas just to kind of maybe not reduce down the amount of units because i think unit spend in arena is something that will, will never stop but maybe the extent of time required so people don't get this kind of loss of time feeling 
Um, yeah. uh, and then, but then obviously the argument is that well, you know, people wanted to spend on the game in order to kind of further yeah. their roster um, by the, yeah. uh, you know, you know, spending so many units. Then would that yeah. unfortunately take us back to the Grandmaster? Now, kind of go right. I've got an Odin's Vault here. What do I want to do with this three thousand exactly. one hundred units? Do I want to try yeah. for fifteen Grandmaster crystals at the potential chance of you know somewhat getting a chance of a, a five star mm -hmm. and maybe a load of four stars, or do I want to grind extensively into uh, into five star to get a five star a five star dedicated in yeah. an arena? And that's that's something where uh, I guess we don't know, but. You know, go on to the uh, next next question, like um, with regards to obviously stars. Like, mm -hmm. would this likely get worse with further star tiers being introduced? Like, w are we going to see like absolutely? Like, would we are we going to see like some other crystal, like an elder's crystal? Obviously, following you the will. Marvel thing, we will. Yeah. yeah, it seems it seems fair, fairly likely that if that's that that could be a thing. And if people still still aren't understanding this, it's 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 instead of I mean, Kabam has taken the, it's just the easy route. It's the low hanging fruit. Hmm. Let's create uh, another champion tier. Let's slap another star on there. Let's push the crystals. Let's tell people that the champs that they've already acquired are worth less. So now you've got to try and scramble to get the next you know new thing. And and if you allow that to keep happening where there's no other innovation taking place in the game hmm. then it's yeah you open the door down the road for the exact same thing to happen yeah and so it doesn't stop with six star champions i mean i, I want to sound hopeful and gung-ho about where the game's going but unless kabam really gets it that we we're demanding some type of other innovation here then they're going to go for the low-hanging fruit of just slapping another star on a champ and pushing crystals and telling you that hey that that other tier of champ is not worth half as much anymore yeah I, so it's kind of it's kind of sad that way <laughs> yeah one of the things that i did put to kabam is that i i did email, email them um after the point of release of the six stars and I, and and i did uh, did say to them I said look i understand that you guys are owned by net marble mm -hmm. uh, net, and and um what was what was the thought process behind six stars? Did you <laughs> <That's> feel <awesome. laughs> uh, but the thing is like, did you feel pressured by their other games like Marvel Future Fight in yeah. in, in releasing that? And yeah. great question. Yeah, the, the response back was even though Net Marble is the um, operating and ownership company, it still doesn't have any kind of creative input in what we do. But obviously, that's oh, that's a generalized answer. But it's like yeah. you know, it's um, I don't buy it. I'm not buying it. Yeah. It, it's one of these one of these things where you just like um uh like i'll give you an example there's a, a mu there was used to be a music quiz show called Nevermind the buzzcocks in the uk and how it never uh, heard of it it's like this, this, <laughs> an this analogy is quite funny it's like there's one there's like random kind of indie band guy uh, lead singer um uh i can't remember the name of the band anyway um he says he says like I have a claim to fame, and they're like, "Oh, what hell? What the hell are you talking about?" And it's like, "Well, well, what happened was I got um, Bob Geldof's number, and um, I said, and I said in a text to him, I said, yeah. I, uh, you know, Bob Geldof, he ran uh, Live Aid. Oh, Live Aid. really? Um, so what yeah. he did was he he said, "Oh yeah, I texted Bob Geldof, and I said, um, I've got a great idea for you, mate. Uh, Live Aid two, and he said, "Lo and behold, <laughs> uh, he said, lo, lo and behold, Live Eight the follow-up uh, to that was created two Ooh. years later and it's like he then there said but it's like it's like saying net marble went do you know what uh, kabam i've got i've got a great idea for you six yeah. stars and it's then yeah. lo and behold later then because seven uh, stars yeah that's uh, yeah it's like I, I i without kind of like saying that we don't know if that happened but it's still a funny thing to kind of talk about in in any yeah. case yeah okay so let's talk about vision obviously no pun intended mm. uh we know that kabam have sure. ideas running into 2020 but do you feel that kabam have uh, have our th or the thinking in a very narrow-minded way with regards to the game obviously we've touched on talking about uh you know low-hanging fruit mm -hmm. um but uh before i get in i get into your thoughts uh personally for there's a lot more inventive ways as we talked about and we have talked totally. about prior to this that they could do things with regards to say i don't know game modes uh we were talking about the totally. idea of, of the implementation of something in like a like a world of warcraft where it's like a multiplayer thing because uh, we were we were saying that we 
we have never kind of come across something where you know you can play the game um mm -hmm. together like a team aspect and then say it's over team speak where other games are like that and i don't because really... aq is not really no. uh, a, a co-op it's really not it's log on when you got energy drop this yeah. and then somebody else swoops in i mean there's so rich there are so many cool things that they could do oh yeah and we well, how long have we been waiting for bases? And we don't even know what the heck that is. <laughs> We're just excited at the possibility of a, of a base, you know? I think, or a new mastery or yeah, something. Yeah, true. I think they've run out of a... a that they, I reckon Alliance Quest or Alliance Wars was meant to be bases, but they felt that it was rebranded differently. They should have really... If they had no p reason to use it, they should have taken it away. And if they do use it... Absolutely. Maybe they should look at to, to kind of yeah. implement it in a totally different way. And uh, um, I have, again, talked about this in so many other videos where the idea that you would have a, a base similar to, uh, I think there used to be a Facebook um, game called Avengers Assemble, where you had yeah. a, uh, a, a shield helicarrier and that was your base. And then you went off to do missions with different um, uh, Marvel characters and, yeah, it's just like a lost thing with regards to that. So, what are your thoughts about like future vision for 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 the game if if they could do it, but they obviously aren't at the moment. I I don't know, and and I'll address this with the the. Well, let me let me say first and foremost, it is so easy to get mad at, and we talked about this yeah. at Kabam Mike, at Adora, at Kabam Kamish because we see them posting. We can't. We have our threads shut down or moved or whatever the case may be. And there, there, there can be some resentment there for these people. I've met them. I saw them in San Diego. They're great people. They're mm -hmm. doing the work of the game team. They have a tough job. They have to hand down news that comes from the game team. Hey, we have to push revenue. Hey, we need another product to kick, kick start crystal cells. They have a tough job. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that they handle everything correctly, but I think they do a, a pretty good job and they at, at delivering <laughs> bad news as we know yeah so so vision for the game aren't there so many cool things that could be happening outside of just slapping another star on a champ i yeah. mean honestly and the players are, the players are pushing that mm -hmm. show us something and and i think the sentiment that there is that will will drive your revenue if you can show us that you're pushing the game in an innovative way i think if you if you were to give the player base something that really expands gameplay really is really is a new branch of the game yeah we'll kick this thing into you know the the next stage of mcoc but what, what's the vision when you know we're just chasing after another star it, it, it's not there mm. the game cannot survive that but i know that kabam and that marble they've had marketing well i don't know but i'm guessing they've had marketing meetings saying we've got end game players here we've got We've got beginning players, but we need to bring in new players and get them to a point where they feel comfortable spending. Mm. So we need a way to we need a way to get them three star champions, four star champions, five star champions, and and now we got a new player base. Mm. And 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 that's what's happening. We can we can expedite their progress in the game. Yeah, I think from a start point, like I, I I'm about to start like a new thing of uh, beginners tutorials and things with the game. But when I could have created a new account, I I I noticed that there's a big push yep. to to spend at a at a first point from a point of entry yeah obviously this seems to be a very um normal thing with uh, most games uh, just start playing war wings on uh, it's a mini clip design game and that's the first thing is like oh if you buy these premium planes that uh, that you'll be able to kind of get to this point in the game further which is a like mm -hmm. a league a league game which if kind of in compa comparison sense it would be mm -hmm. either alliance wars or alliance quest um but you know from the vision point i'm i'm very kind of unsure with what uh Kabam want yeah. to do and that will lead us on to uh, our, our last kind of like talking point in a minute about communication but the idea that they could do so many things like even like a a last man standing battle tournament or some sort of oh, tournament man. based situation be awesome. even from like a, a point of looking at other games in the way they 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 function and and taking yeah. real strong comparisons but we were you know we were talking about maybe they it would would be this idea that you could have like a world of warcraft meets black like marvel contest of champions where you're you're kind of you know you've got five of you going to a, a raid of some kind and what you yeah. what you kind of like you do like imagine the kind of aspect if you had i don't know um 
you and five other people were able to battle through something together similar to i suppose to alliance wars but more in kind of real time where you all five of you are fighting at the same time maybe against Gosh, that'd be that'd be fun like, that'd what, be a blast what about like um and I, I talked about this in a previous video video about maybe like a sentinel like all facing off against a sentinel high yeah. high hit yeah. pull you're all fighting yeah. off against him to try and reduce him down yeah. i suppose yeah. in some ways that puts it into games like uh like like pokemon go where you kind of raid against uh stronger yeah. pokemon and like take that yeah. down even a sense of like marvel contest of champions doing a marvel go or something like that where they mm -hmm. follow the same dynamic but um you know there's... and that's a that's one thing because the arenas are such a huge part of the game mm. and they they have there's there's a lot of ill will towards arenas and the cutoffs and how that how that works and it leaves a lot of players disappointed yeah and it, and i'm boggled by that each three-day period where we see a large portion of the player base upset over not making a cutoff mm. and that's that's been kabam's business model for acquiring a new champion outside of somebody buying a crystal that's been their business model for two and a half years upset upsetting you know a large portion of the player base by missing a cutoff mm. what, what about an option where you quest for seven days and you have to log in each day for an hour to complete like a you know a series of quests and then at the end of the seven days you get the champ yeah. Whereas other whereas other people they grind for three days and they get their champ. Or yeah. other people they they pay for their champ in crystals, you know, or they spin for their champ. Absolutely. There are a ton of options, man. A ton like, of options. You know, I will give you an example. I'm just gonna load up now uh, a game uh, which, like I just talked about a moment, uh, called War Wings. And in the hmm. um, event, uh, if you do a certain amount of events in the, and I'm not obviously promoting another game, by the way. I'm just using this as a <laughs> as a comparison. In that, if you grind through at the end of it, and you keep, even if you log in for a certain amount of days, you get a, a kind of a, a premium plane, which allows you to get more content. But also, if you if you then work hard on certain things, you then get the the rare plane. So it's yeah. it's like it's there. It's like the there we go. This is it. The uh, this like a seven day sign in even, mm -hmm. and they're even more fair with it. Seven day sign in at the end of it, you get a uh, a tier three premium plane, which allows you to get into league games without any too much of a worry. Which, yeah. if you then compare it, like you just said, against against a game like this, you know, the idea yeah. of completing certain quest aspects, even yeah. by going like, oh, if you complete a hundred battles per day, you get this, or a hundred matches, mm -hmm. you get this. Complete ten quests within this per this this time frame, and you get this. And it's more. Um, you know it's it's less on on the uh, draining on the player from the yeah. point of the grind and it people will then get back that kind of uh yeah. time in their lives yeah there are there are so many alternatives to that the the stupid three-day grind blowing seven hours a day spending units on refills and then missing the cutoff by what 10k yeah something s completely stupid like that but uh Rich, I, I I will just say this because I've kind of forgotten about yeah. this this aspect of um, one of these upcoming features or um, new additions to the to the contest. The Grandmaster Crystal, and I, I'm not going to continue to harp on just that, but I do want to say just quickly, there are plans for a featured Grandmaster mm. Crystal, and that that's really kind of upsetting because I think one of the better moves that Kabam has made over the past year and a half. Is a little bit of that sense of accomplishment mm. when a player is able to acquire a featured five-star champ because they are brutal to yeah. get a hold of. They're, we all know that. Saving the shards mm -hmm. for one spin, two spins at a featured champ, and then maybe you have the Awakening Gem. But that feeling you get from acquiring one and then now he's your, your avatar, yeah. that's an awesome feeling. And it's a little bit of a customization feature too. You've got a mm. champ that's that's almost feels like you've customized um to you know to your profile like not yeah. everybody's got that champ yeah but 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 now if this featured grandmaster crystal hits now people have a chance to you know for 250 to 300 units spin for those featured champs that we all kind of really um are holding on to as like wow this is cool this is my guy yeah so all so that so that sense of accomplishment is going to be gone here pretty soon when that featured grandmaster crystal hits so Let's, I really disappointing on that. Yeah, I, I what? Just out of curiosity, honestly, <laughs> See, before I go into it, get it right there. I, do, I do. Ugh. I mean, the current See? the current thing with it is like the fifteen k ones can be a little bit a bit annoying nowadays. The oh, um, what out of and this is out of curiosity. 
Um, I'm currently one from eight with regards to featured. What's your kind of your real ratio at the moment for featured? Well, all of Core knows I've been hoarding shards for a long time, so I haven't opened a, uh, a five star feature crystal or five star crystal in a long. And you know the amount that I'm at, Rich. I'm not going to say it, but I know that uh, you, you've I, you've got to send me that video footage. I've got to I've got to feature that on there when I when I finally pop one of those crystals. But I'm waiting on a science or mystic champ. I got two science awakening gems, which has just been that's like having stock in the worst company mm. on earth right now. And then I got a mystic, thankfully. Yeah. But um, I haven't popped a crystal in a long time. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well be because I'm smart. I won't pop one unless I got the gem, yeah. or you know, I'm, I've got a couple crystals saved up to really make a go at it. So I think I'm probably three for <laughs> four, three or four for. Um, oh God, it's not going to sound great. Thirty-five. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> I mean that's I mean, still that's still um, like. That's probably on par then. If we're kind of looking at it, it's like for every eight crystals that someone spins, the good chance is one will be yeah. a featured. It's still yeah. like it's it's pretty terrible if you kind of th if you think about yeah. it in some ways. But um, I wonder how the grandmaster crystal is going to be. Like, how will they do the featured and sub featured pool within? Oh no, they won't do a sub featured, but and the featured pool with the within that will that just be straight up featured or will it be an underlying uh, yeah. prem stuff? It's it, it's very hard to tell in early stages. Well, from what I understand, the the grandmaster crystal that's arriving on the thirtieth is going to reflect the basic five star pool. Ah. So you won't have a chance. You won't have a chance at featured five stars in that Grandmaster Crystal. Mm. You'll have a chance at whatever's in that basic five star pool, and then that pool will grow as the featured five star champs are added to the basic pool. Huh. But then, you, then when you move to the featured Grandmaster Crystal, you'll have a shot at past featured champs that haven't moved to the basic pool yet, and mm. then the current feature champ. Oh dear, it's it's a very. <laughs> disappointing i'm just uh, even to talk about that but we're there's a lot of hope because th we they can do great things but the like the com and i'm not making my sales pitch here but the community can we can roll this back or we can at yeah. least we can do something yeah absolutely and it's like we, we've done it before with like the uh the mm -hmm. the, the boycott um it's kind of mm -hmm. it's kind of scary if you think about like um a player base was potentially able to take down uh, a, a billion dollar company yes. yeah. Uh, yeah it's pretty yeah, awesome actually it, it is it's the, the, one of the biggest things obviously I understand that they wanted to go capitalism off works yeah. both ways absolutely works both ways power to the people and all that the, yeah. the kind of obviously the other aspect is that their work on Transformers Forge to Fight is I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's overshadowing but Caban because they decide to operate on two two games wouldn't you think that it would be better to kind of grow uh, uh, one game extensively to a mm -hmm. point where you kind of think right well for the next five years all we need to do is micro things uh, mm -hmm. because we have a pretty strong model uh, I don't know rich that's a tough one I know that they want to diversify they got more employees They've got different branches of Kabam, mm. but they they have a chance to do something really special with MCOC, and I think they're blowing it. I think they're totally blowing it. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the extent of that, they're, they're just not getting. I don't know if they're too ambitious for the point of producing an Android game or Android or iOS game um, mm -hmm. on a, like a device format, or are they? in some ways you kind of think well wouldn't they be best off doing something completely different and moving it to a different platform whether it be xbox or ps4 or even yeah. even putting something you know extensively multiplayer wise on a on a pc one thing they do have to understand is that if another game comes in marvel related that yeah. is different then yeah. all of this goes away and it's bye bye game yeah. community yeah. shifts onto a not a I would say it could be a better game because that's the only reason people would leave the game because mm -hmm. it's got this kind of addicting kind of gambling element to to the game. Yeah. Which, yes, it does. Which <laughs> obviously keeps us keeps us really into it. Yeah. But like I said, that could all go away if another game comes into the mix. Which... Or if they make a really bad decision, which could be looming. Yeah, absolutely. All, this this all goes away in the exact same way. Mm -hmm. Players players move on to something else. Yeah, true. Um, I'm trying to diversify the stuff that I'm I'm 
I'm playing, uh, but I am. Uh, this is the thing. I w I am waiting for that next Marvel game to kind of really mm. grab me and say, "Let's play this." I tried it with Marvel Heroes, and yeah. that was that went quite well to a degree, mm -hmm. but I just felt that there was more to offer um, from a different game. So it's just it. You know, if that game comes around, we could see ourselves going to it. Yeah yeah well yeah it's it's a strange time right now and it's kind of upsetting I, I don't know exactly where the game's headed and i think a lot of the a lot of the player base is waiting to see mm. what happens yeah. yeah and that's that's the thing about hope that's that like and going on to the, this this next point is like I, I was obviously impressed by your belief and it's like a lot of people who were kind of like picking up on this this conversation because it is a conversation and discussion mm -hmm. about the devaluation and, and other aspects to vision and the way the game's changing is you had still belief and you still hold belief it's not a case mm -hmm. of going like oh you know screw the game it's actually yeah. a well it was a well structured post but you know and, and some of your points where it's is uh, thanks. Thank, thanks thank rich <laughs> that's that's right it's like a lot of people may not think that but it's like that's the case uh, yeah. you know you said thankfully it also is an opportunity for kabam to correct things uh yeah. Now, if like I said, if anybody thinks negatively about this, it's like there is always always a flip side to anything, and and that's the thing about uh, communication. And where mm -hmm. Kabam largely go wrong is it is communication. They might think mm -hmm. that obviously the kind of talking about six stars was a was a good thing to do, but also the element of communication between part a partnership between developer and player, regardless if you put money into the game but still the communication factors and one thing mm -hmm. that i wanted to touch on is polls and you know uh, feedback and the problem is when you do something like kabam uh, do something they and i've done it before i've made i've made so many mistakes in like producing a video because i've not mm -hmm. like watched it through properly or i've had a mm -hmm. problem with my rendering i've put a video up and then uh, I've got in comments back saying you made a you made a fuck up you made the, uh, this mistake <laughs> that 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 yeah. and it's Pretty like yeah, it's like yeah. if you, if I don't go hey I made a real big mistake next time yeah. I need to make sure that I'm better that's yeah. that's wrong I just need to kind of go yeah. like I need to make sure that my polling system is better like I, but it's mm -hmm. like if sorry if I repeat the mistake that's sorry mm -hmm. I'm wrong thing there if I repeat the mistake. And I don't look back and go, do you know what? Someone said that. Mm -hmm. But it's then going like, do you know what? how, if I said, how can I make my delivery, my showmanship, my presentation better? Mm -hmm. And that's the mm -hmm. thing about then putting a poll together and going like, I've got this. Absolutely. You're what do you spot on with that. And that's, that's, I think what, what, how do you feel about the, the kind of communication with regards to those kind of things? Do, do Kabam need to yeah. utilize these things better? Where's the, where's the beta testing community? What this happened with that? I've never met a. I haven't heard a single tester. thing from them. Yeah, I, I mean, supposedly they would have already had access to the fifteen point zero update, right? Yeah, they they would have been earning six star shards at least in like a beta format. Mm -hmm. They would have been playing through some of these decisions and and giving feedback. There was so something. I'm not, I don't know what happened to that. True, there was something back along where someone was had access. It was a Twitch. You, it was a, it was a Twitch streamer. I don't know if he was a uh -huh. YouTuber. A Twitch streamer was given a press account by Kabam or uh -huh. a developer's account by Kabam. Uh -oh. um, but this is the other thing that's very interesting. Like we've got um, NCC mods. Obviously, um, are you familiar with his, his his stuff? Where he's kind of like I don't know if he I've hacks the game or. I've heard of him. Yeah, mods. He, the word mod just scares me. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, mod. Oh no. <laughs> but if you think, <laughs> absolutely. But if you think about the um, that he was able to access certain things. So even like Marvel Contest of Champions Trucos is able to kind of access certain yeah. things with regards to game filing uh, and like data mining, but mm -hmm. um, and this coding aspect. But who? It's the question that like, who has access to that? Are there these theoretical beta accounts that? people have access to go into at certain time frames and yeah why is this not um why do we not know about these people like i don't you know i yeah. if i went um, strange. The, uh, yeah like i don't know if um like there's the, the people out there would uh, they may be under some sort of like signature thing with kabam and saying hey you can't tell anybody that you are mm -hmm. a beta tester but mm -hmm. kabam have openly said in previous like forum posts this is uh, we have got beta testers out there so basically it doesn't yeah. matter if 
if they announced the developers already announced mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. wh like where was Where's that community where yeah. are, i'm not sure where they're where's, at but the polling that? thing i yeah. love that idea rich but and and some people will say you cannot do that with your customer base because that's how great products never get released i mean if you are if you're just providing mm -hmm. people with what they want then maybe you lack the vision to give them what they're gonna want down the road. Yeah. So I can kind of understand that. Like maybe you're you've got a great product that kind of challenges a status quo that people are going to be opposed to initially. And if you listen to all of their feedback, I mean they're telling you, hey, we don't want this, but it's something later on that they're you know they might be open to. Yeah. But in in the short term, I I just I've really not liked how the the forums um, threads get shut down, things get moved, things get buried. I mean, the, the community usually has a pretty strong sense of what it wants and what it doesn't want. And when mm -hmm. we don't want something, we're pretty vocal. Yeah. It just seems like Kabam is not really responsive to that until things get really bad, uh, a.k.a. 12.0. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We had to really bring the house down on that one. Oh, yeah. And I, I didn't want to see that again because I, I, I don't think this is going to be that because I think people might be excited by the Grandmaster Crystal and it might take some time to really see what's developing here. Mm. But in the long term, the long the long term effect of this is just opening up doors for future shenanigans with seven star champs, eight star champs, expensive uh, you know expensive features, and uh, it just really shows that the innovation is lacking. So we yeah. we've got to do something. We've got to make we got to make it known that we we're going to demand more from mm. the from the game team. And that's the thing is like a lot of people will now be, if if people are smart with the game, they will be deterred by buying future content uh, mm -hmm. around the like we said three hundred dollar mark. The uh, even like the maybe the unit like um, maybe around Christmas time, even with the, like the units get reduced, not really units get reduced down, but the deals become more better for people from from that perspective people i think mm -hmm. will smell the the bullshit so to speak and go yeah right well if i choose now to buy i'm going to improve my five star champions yes but mm -hmm. um what happens when the six stars are introduced next year and then you go bingo right well do i now want to spend 99 pounds or uh, whatever it is in the, the dollar format yeah. on a unit deal that brings six star like it, it, and it, will, yeah. it won't be good it won't be good for six stars it, it won't be like yeah it, it's gonna be right well now yeah. now my uh nine dollars 99 deal now gives me a full four star crystal and you go exactly what the heck like where exactly. was what what yeah. was where was this like if you go back two years yeah. and you go right i need to spend 99 i need to spend 99 pounds myself to get yeah. a fully formed four star and you'd be mm -hmm. like what the yeah it's just like the, the economy side of things is it's out of it's out of whack and uh, just quickly there was a post on this that was really interesting where somebody had commented that they had started a new account mm. and they're, they're a long time player they had started a new account just to see what progression was like at the early stages of this game because it, mm. it's been a while since they'd experienced that and they on this new account had a four star champ within the first three days without spending a dime <laughs> so don't and, and his whole commentary on this was you don't need a four star champ to complete this early content and it takes mm. the entire challenge out of the contest for new players i mean i know you and i remember what it was like to complete that beginning content with two and maybe a three star champ and mm. it was difficult oh it yeah was fun. it was fun and it was rewarding so now you're depriving and this this was kind of to his point you're depriving new players of the challenge because they're they have access to higher star champs earlier mm. and then you're depriving veterans of any sense of like accomplishment because you're constantly devaluing what they had to work to achieve so yeah. both player bases are totally missing out on like any real sense of accomplishment in the game and it's it's there so it's eating away at both sides of this thing yeah i mean, I mean to go again going back to like flashbacks and things like uh i remember going against thanos and the only oh, yeah. like like back in it back in the day this is like yeah. act three kind yeah. of time and yeah. i never had a i had one four star i think i was using a class yep. advantage with um 
I think it was Juggernaut. It was my only yeah. four star. I think I, I think I just got him, and I was like, oh, I'm going to use a class advantage with him. <laughs> and just kind of, I literally, I think at the time, just scraped through. The rest of the three stars. And at that yeah. time, and a lot of like people will go, oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I can do that. It's like, yeah, but this mm -hmm. is like going back in those those days where I'm new to the game. I didn't have any understanding of masteries. There were very little yeah. Marvel Contest of Champions YouTubers and a devoted Reddit base, plus oh, anybody really? like talking about masteries and kind of setups and things. Yeah. F nowadays it's a different story like you have more yeah. information readily available to you and you can then mm -hmm. you know understand the game mm -hmm. and understand you're playing but mm -hmm. i did not get a decent enough i think at that time it was i had juggernaut hulk and miss marvel i've got a very good memory by the way um uh, those <laughs> three four stars and um that was you know that was it and i was like yeah. oh, okay i'm getting through this this point yeah and i don't think i'd spent anything on the game just yet but all of those were out of prem uh prem crystals so yep. these were based on luck like pure luck yeah. and how fun was that that's a great experience yeah. right that was i mean that was like the content that you wanted to you really wanted to get into because mm. it, it, it took some skill to get through that stuff so new beginners they they don't get that they're not mm. getting that they don't get the same progression that we got when we started. Yeah. And so, it, but then it's like, I knew that something was kind of up with that. Do you remember when we got a, a thing where we had a, uh, I think it was like a change difficulty thing and we got sent through a free four star crystal. I don't know if you remember that. Oh man. I, I mean, this really, uh, the thing is, uh, I think you might, it might've come in when you were about, but it was like one of these things where you just may have gone, oh, wow, that's cool, and then just like accepted it <laughs> or claimed I it. Am, I cannot remember that, but that would have been a big deal. No, exactly. That, yeah, four-star champions were impossibly hard to come by unless you spent 100 bucks. Yeah. That's how it was. It's, uh, a lot of things uh, have really really changed, and I think that's the, the point where we're going to wrap up the, uh, the, the, the kind of discussion on this before I kind of throw it over to the comments section and let you all go wild with... Uh, yeah, Either there's a lot of content to pick through on, uh, in this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, what we've done in this video is we've kind of talked about a lot of uh, devaluation and kind of the, the, the process of, of how we feel from a point of starting in the game and the kind of two years, um, five months in Cruz's uh, case and, and two years and, uh, and, and seven months in Hey, in why you got to pull rank? Why you got to pull <laughs> rank like that? <laughs> well, the thing is, you're a lot further along with them, than myself. Oh, oh um, but stop. It's, uh, but it's like, um, and obviously we, we I, I really want that video, those those five stars being open at some point. You've, you've got it. You've okay. got to send me that. that, that okay. Footage. I just want to. Oh, I can't wait for that. But, <laughs> um, but saying that, we're, we're we're two very passionate people about the game. From a point, yes, okay, things are going to change, and we don't know what the state of affairs are. are we going to be really welcoming to this one? Um, but we also understand the the negative side of things. In that, it's it's not perfect. We do feel in some ways that uh, people that have invested money into it, and again, invested uh, with with the bunny ears, that you know, it's. It's all about improving mm -hmm. your your kind of roster. It's like saying I don't have a five star Star Lord. If I then spin ten crystals and theoretically get him, then therefore it's going to make my Labyrinth of Legends grind so much more easier. But instead, I'm going to have to spend out on the units in order to do that. However, though, if we get six stars and I'm lucky for my first six star to get that champion, then that means that's great and I'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. But there mm -hmm. is the aspect that I'm going to have to, you know, if I spend now, then that's lost money based on devaluation. Yeah, you might be outclassed by seven star champions by it, that time. Who, exactly, who knows? Exactly. So it's a nasty little vicious cycle there. Yeah, that's that's the other side of uh, of looking at this. So, um, Cruz, thanks very much for for joining me on this video. Um, I, I thoroughly Rich, enjoyed it. Rich, to see you in the future, man. This yeah, this was really fun. We had some we had some great off the air talk too, but we'll we'll yeah. keep that. Under wraps. Yeah, <laughs> like it. Um, and we've actually talked about an, a potential another idea with regards to uh, a kind of a, a podcast idea. But we're, you know, if that if that comes off, I think you're you're going to really enjoy that. But uh, you know, no spoilers on that one. Uh, are there any kind of like ending like comments that you've got, Cruz, on uh, the uh, on the stuff we've talked about? Yeah, maybe lighten up on Kabam, Mike, and Adora. They're just they're they're dealing with the bad news, and they have to hand it down to us. I don't think they're the bad guys. But in moving forward, the player base, and we we did this when 12.0 hit, 
we showed that we've got the power to just about reverse anything that we do not like in the game. But we've mm -hmm. got to stick together, and you've got to realize that these shards that are going to be coming your way for, you know, the the five star champs, these these are basically four star shards being repackaged. So, mm -hmm. just be aware. And uh, course course says hello. <laughs> Of course, says hi. <laughs> Obviously, these, these these guys know what we're they're talking guys. about. They we're know. the good guys. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, cool. brilliant. Yeah, so what I want to do now is uh, obviously throw it over to the comment section and just say, what are your thoughts um, from a new starting player and obviously an end game player? And obviously, it doesn't matter if you're your mid mid table player, whatever you consider yourself being. What are your thoughts on the Grandmaster Crystals, the extent of devaluation in the game, and how Kabam can maybe improve things going forward? And uh, and maybe we'll pick up some of these comments in uh, a future podcast. So that that'll be cool. So, uh, Cruz, again, thanks very much for joining me. Rich, I'll uh, I'll be in contact with you through email, man. Uh, thanks for having me on. I uh, hope to talk with you in the future. Absolutely, it's definitely going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, everyone, and uh, and goodbye for now. Catch you on the flip side. Bye bye. Bye.